to get the free notes of electrical circuits check the link in the comment section and install the app for free norton's theorem question find the value of current i here in this circuit we have to find the value of this current i by using norton's theorem solution first of all let's see what is norton's theorem norton's theorem states that a linear two terminal circuit can be replaced by an equivalent circuit consisting of a current source i n in parallel with a resistor r n where i n is the short circuit current at the terminals and r n is the equivalent resistance at the terminals when all the independent sources are turned off and it is connected in parallel with load resistor r l so this is load resistor r l and this will be load current i l the formula to calculate load current i l is equal to this is according to current division rule it is i n multiplied by r n divided by r n plus r l now here in this question this i is the load current this is what we have to find so here we can write i is equal to small i i l is equal to small i and this 8 ohm will be load resistor r l so here we can write r l is equal to 8 ohm and this circuit is called as norton's equivalent circuit norton's equivalent circuit now step number 1 is to find to find rn remove rl and turn off turn off all the independent sources independent sources now here in this circuit first first step is to remove this rl so let's remove this rl from here and this will be our rn that is norton's resistance and also we have to turn off all the independent sources so here we can see when we turn off the current source that time it will be open circuited so this will be here this will be open circuited and also this is a current source so also this will be open circuited now we can easily find the value of rn as we can see this 4 ohm and 6 ohm are connected in series so therefore rn is equal to 4 plus 6 so therefore it is equal to 10 ohm this is the value of norton's resistance now next is we have to find the value of norton's current in so step number 2 to find i n again what we have to do we have to remove remove r l and short circuit short circuit the short circuit the terminals now here if we copy this circuit from here again and now let's remove this rl first and now if we short circuit this terminal and let's say this is the direction of current in 
Now let's find the value of i n by using superposition theorem. So here we can write to find i n we will use we will use superposition theorem superposition theorem so let's copy this circuit again and again for superposition theorem let's say step number a is to consider let's consider the six ampere current source first and turn off all other sources consider six ampere current source and turn off all other all other independent sources independent sources now here we are considering the 6 ampere and when we turn off this current source so it will be open circuited and now this current will be i n prime so here we can see it is getting short circuited here so this resistance will be count as zero so let's copy this circuit again and this resistance will become zero so here we can directly write i n prime is equal to 6 ampere now next is we have to find current caused by this 3 ampere again let's copy this circuit from here now this time we will consider this 3 ampere current source and we will turn off this 6 ampere current source so step number b this is this was the step number a and this this is step number b consider 3 ampere current source and turn off all other independent sources now when we turn off this 6 ampere current source so again this will be open circuited and now this time this current will be i n double prime so we can easily find this i n double prime by using current division rule by using current current division rule so i n double prime is equal to 3 ampere multiplied by opposite branch resistance so here the opposite or parallel branch to this 6 ohm is 4 ohm so 4 divided by 4 plus 6 and here we can see the direction of this 3 ampere is opposite to this i double prime so here this will be minus so if we solve this so we get the value of i n double prime which is minus 3 multiplied by 4 divided by 4 plus 6 so it is minus 1.2 minus 1.2 since it is current so its unit will be ampere so minus 3 into 4 divided by 4 plus 6 which is minus 1.2 ampere now next is the direction of this i n double prime is we are considering downward and the direction of this i n prime is also we are considering downward so therefore the resultant i n will be i n will be i n prime plus i n double prime so the value of i n prime is 6 ampere 
देन प्लस आई एन डबल प्राइम इज माइनस वन पॉइंट टू एम पी आर वाई वी आर एडिंग देम बिकॉज द डायरेक्शन आर सेम सो देर फोर आई एन इज इक्वल टू सिक्स माइनस वन पॉइंट टू विच इज फोर पॉइंट एट फोर पॉइंट एट एम पी आर इज द वैल्यू ऑफ आई एन नाउ वी गॉट द वैल्यू ऑफ आई एन सो वी कैन सॉल्व द नॉर्टन्स इक्विवेलेंट सर्किट so let's directly copy this from here let's copy this from here and now we will substitute the value of in which is 4.8 ampere the value of rn that is norton's resistance and it is 10 ohm so this will be of 10 ohm and we already have the value of this i this il and this rl the value of il is i and the value of in it is 4.8 ampere multiplied by the value of rn is 10 ohm so 10 divided by 10 plus 8 now if we solve this we will get the value of current i so 4.8 multiplied by 10 divided by 10 plus 8 so it is 2.6 2.6 ampere is the value of current i so this is how we can find the value of current by using norton's theorem check the link in the comment section and install the app for free thanks for watching